And hear this story, if you will, uh, from Chris yesterday. Normally, he is, let's face it, he is complaining um, about his fellow passengers on the train. And he says yesterday on Facebook, so after my update this morning, along with the tales I like to entertain you with, now I have a serious one. A lady got on the train. She stood opposite me. I penned my morning copy of my daily journey. I glanced up as I wrote. The lady took off her jacket. As we got to the next station, she looked rather flushed in the face. The train continued on. I glanced up again. This time, I could tell she wasn't well. Are you okay? I asked. She replied, I feel very hot. I knew there was a gentleman on the carriage that is a regular passenger who gets off at the next stop. This is how well Chris knows these folks. Excuse me, I said discreetly. Are you getting off at the next stop? If so, could this lady have your seat? She's feeling rather unwell. It sounds like brief encounter, doesn't it? It's very British. I say, excuse me, old chap. Are you getting off at the next stop? If so, uh, could this lady have your seat? She's feeling rather unwell. Without a blink of an eye, he said yes. And he and another lady jumped out of their seats so that the lady who was not feeling well could sit down. I asked the lady to sit in the seat, but before she could get to it, she collapsed into my arms. It is like brief encounter. Oh, my goodness. Another male passenger, and I laid her on the floor of the train, placing her in the recovery position. All of this on British public transport yesterday. We were assisted by a female passenger who took care of the sick lady while I alerted the driver as the train now pulled into the station. The passenger was removed from the train by the station staff as the paramedics uh, were on their way. The train alarm emergency intercoms were reset as I had to use it to alert the driver and the train was able to leave the station, albeit three minutes behind schedule. Now, I bitch, complain and I moan about public transport. But this morning we came together the way we always should to help a stranger in need. I hope that the lady, whoever she is, has made a speedy recovery. I'm glad that my fellow passengers and I <laughs> were there to help her. Now, this is a post uh, that I would prefer you don't leave comedy remarks about, which we tend to do when when Chris is complaining about the uh, aromas uh, on the train in the morning. One reason is that the lady who helped attend to the female passenger when she was on the floor did an amazing job and was rather upset. I guess when the adrenaline had left her body, uh, she was rather upset when the ordeal was over. That is what it's all about, isn't it, Mrs. M? Oh, my goodness, yes. You see, we there we are judging each other quietly on a train. Yeah. In our ego mode. And all it takes, well, sadly, in, in, in many ways, what it takes is for there to be some shock situation. Some right? real humanity. And an outbreak of humanity ensues. Uh, so thank you for sharing that. Chris. I've teared up with Me that too. one. Me <laughs> too. I couldn't help myself. You know what I'm like yeah. when, I, when I see that, you know, when you get an outbreak of humanity like that. And clearly, like you were saying earlier on, you know, People's intentions are good, and but they just got a funny way of showing love sometimes, or a funny mm. way of asking for it. I'm right? reminded um, that I need to share that mum one again. What was that? Um, a, a, about six years ago, there was this um, kind of comedy sketch where you see um, a load of mums go to the park with their little babies. Oh yeah. And so you see the yoga mums, you see yes. the mums carrying their babies in slings, you see the mums with who are working mums who are dropping their kids off um, with a nanny. You see the um, the stay-at-home dads. You see the breast mums. You see the bottle-fed mums. You see, um, and um, everyone... Chest mums, I think you The say. chest mums, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and no doubt it would be adapted now to include all sorts of different extra categories. But um, everyone was commenting on each other's parenting. And then two sets of mums decided to go at it and, and they stop for a moment and they get ready for a tussle. And then as they were getting ready for a tussle, one of them shoved accidentally, like as they were squaring up to somebody, they, with their hips, I think they pushed out of, um, like they knocked their pushchair and the pushchair with a baby in it, like started hurtling down a hill. Mm. I'm feeling tearful just You're thinking about pieces. it. <laughs> the first time, weren't you? you oh you're, you're crying at your own story now. <laughs> and, then, so and then this baby in a pushchair is heading towards the... Um, certain doom. Certain doom. Yes. Towards uh, like a massive pond or something. And um, 
all of a sudden everyone drops their positions. They just forget. Yes. And they all rush to save this baby. Yes. And then they all come around and they save the baby and then they all look at each other and all go, oh, phew. And why they put their are arms su- around Why each are we other. such a-holes and it, and, so much of the time? And it is just the best, I think, the best sort of example of how everybody just, you know, we really do come from love and we just don't understand each other. Yes, we allow our positions. Well said. We allow our positions to get in the way. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. What a shame. And we didn't know that was going to be the theme of the day. <laughs> Just do I can't it. I'm crying. You're in pieces. I, I will. I will find. How about it. a dad joke <laughs> <laughs> to lighten the mood? Okay, so we're going to finish with the dad jokes that not even Lee McGrady uh, w- w- would be tempted to laugh at. Okay, so here we go. Thank you, T Duck. And thanks, everyone, for being here this morning. It's been lovely this morning. We never know what's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. uh, I think there's a few clips you can pull out of here, aren't there? There are. There are. So wrestling is a sport where people without pants fight for a belt. Very clever. Very good. Um, And it is a little known. Don't tell me you're not smiling and laughing at home. It is a little known fact that cow farts come from their dairy air. Very good. See, he is. He's right. Top yeah, draw. They were, top they were draw. Good. They were and good. back to the scientists who couldn't figure out why. The, look at this. It's as though we planned it. Scientists couldn't figure out why the earth keeps spinning. So they gave up and called it a day. Very good. Isn't that beautiful? And it so goes with the image that we started the show with that we'll finish with. Um, and let's remember to be lovely to each other, shall we? Um, I'll take that last dad joke out of the way there so you can actually see that. And get a sense of perspective and um, maybe on your your to-do list that uh, Bob and Viv were talking about. The first one could be the just Make your coffee. It. Yeah, make me a coffee, Miss No, you know. To, Water the plants. The people who you've been meaning to say, you know, you're important to me. I love you. Or how are you doing? Maybe that could be the first job on the list today. Because remember. I love you. I love you, Mrs. M. I love you. <laughs> um, and there we are. A perspective. For now, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the science shouldn't and should never be settled. But for the time being, I think it's useful to know that we that we are tiny specks um, that can only be seen via a speculum. God's own speculum has, has uh, he or she looks down upon us and wonders why are they fighting with each other? I made them a beautiful paradise to live in. And now look at them. Mm. So go out there and uh, I love, love each other. <laughs> I love this last uh, comment from uh, my got? dog smells. Is this, a, is, this a, is this the finisher for us uh, uh, here? <laughs> What's this? My dog smells saying, um, I'm always happy to catch the last few minutes of the morning show. Take care. Cheers. Is, is that is that my like I'm, I'm pleased I'm just catching the last minute and not not like, all of it. All I haven't I've had to suffer the whole <laughs> blooming thing. Uh, or is that something really nice? Oh, I've got another I, I've got an, I'm I'm reminded. Um James, look at this. Uh, how poetic a kiss behind the sun oh didn't think of it like that um and uh, love you guys great show let's finish with your uh, image that you sent in here what i can't figure out here is whether there's one or two people is that a little hug going on that looks like a hug that to looks me. like a little bit of a hug going on there in the sunset there so kisses behind and in front of the sun uh, to conclude and climax the uh, Good Morning Portugal show this morning. Tomorrow, uh, we will see you with Katia Lima, the Beyond Lisbon blogger, and the Portuguese, ah, very, very naughty. Uh, he'll be joining us tomorrow uh, morning and in the evening, of course, the webinar, D7 Visa and the Dream Team. But, but look, just savour that sunset, if you will. Take a breath. I'm savouring uh, that lovely image of romance i think there's something going on there isn't there like button That's looks beautiful. lonely hit it says Suze. <laughs> so have a great day take care and bye for now ciao ciao <laughs>
good morning Portugal and I'd like to welcome you to another fantastic day. Hey you gumpers.